Hello and welcome to the Listing Posts unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing the floor standing speaker in the Q Acoustic 5000 series. These brand new floor standing speakers are astonishing. Wonderful frequency response, easy to drive, relatively efficient, awesome. And their 5000 series sees so many wonderful engineering trickle downs from their Concept 500 floor standing speakers, their ultra high end versions. So it's wonderful to see how rapidly they have managed to bring some of the engineering principles into such a affordable floor standing speaker. Now, these are shipped as pairs in two cartons. So we're going to leave that one alone um, and just concentrate on this one. Firstly, the packaging is substantial, but relatively muted in design. It's a simple enough brown box with some white printing on board. It's the top and bottom that have the model and serial number information, and an implication of the colour, which in this instance is one of their new oak wood grains. Again, an exciting departure upon Q Acoustic traditional, relatively muted design. They've decided to add some colour options that are really, really awesome. We've got again scannable information about model and serial number and a bit of information about recommending that you have two people carrying these things around. These are an 18 kilo speaker, so fair enough. But as far as unboxing, obviously it'll just be me. Bringing these back into frame and opening them is very, very easy. I mean, they're a basic um, packing tape holding them closed. And opening them, we see a really awesome additional sort of attention to detail. Tipping it forward, and firstly obviously getting rid of the, I mean this is the uh, 5000 series brochure, it's about the, the 5010, 5020 and obviously the floor standards. Uh, comprehensive, multilingual, uh, shows you all about them as frequency response and all that information. But what we see here is immediately some information about not only how to unpack these, but obtain and put on all the accessories. There's a wonderful line drawing, there's uh, comments about the bolts involved in the feet and the rubber caps and absolutely everything. Look, along with a perhaps unnecessary caution that you should be moving this with two people. To unbox this today, what I'm going to do is firstly pull away the outrigger feet. We'll come back to these and of course, please, as always, hang around for the close-up photographs. What we'll do is take some photographs of assembling these and adding the spikes and the bolts and things. But this awesome uh, aluminium outrigger foot is beautifully engineered, lovely as far as its design. Just removing for a second the information and there's an opportunity for you to see that close up. There's essentially a list of everything that you should see in the box, as well as how you are to assemble the unit. At this point, it's very straightforward to be able to unbox this on your own. The easiest, of course, as you've seen in my other videos, is simply roll it over and take the lightweight box off the heavy product. And you'll see the other half of the packaging sitting there, along with some desiccant bags and other things along those lines. There's two large pieces of polystyrene to support this product. Uh, obviously with large boxes, um, to keep shipping costs and other things laid um, down, they've opted for some polystyrene to ensure that it's well looked after uh, without having to double box or something that may add significant mass to them in transit. In the back, just here, is one of the port uh, wads, uh, allowing it to manage the airflow, particularly if these speakers end up on a, uh, a back wall or somewhere close. We also see the accessory pack and as you've seen with the, the line drawing we've got an understanding of what's likely to be in here. We've got a series of floor spikes and rubber caps enabling this speaker to sit in either a traditional carpeted environment or tiles and hardwood. We also have an allen key and four hex screws to fix the feet, outrigger feet, onto the speakers themselves. From here, 
the easiest is probably just to take the polystyrene end caps off. And then roll the speaker onto its top. Now the Q Acoustic speakers are protected with a basic clothes, uh, sorry, a poly bag, sealed closed with a little Q Acoustic sticker. In fact, it makes it kind of impossible to get into these without breaking that. So you certainly know that your speakers have come factory fresh. Looking at the base, this is where Q Acoustics recommend we pause and start putting the uh, outrigger feet and spikes on, but we're going to continue on and do that later. And again, hang around for the photographs where you'll see that process mapped out. Turning it over and putting it on that temporarily, we have the ability to remove the uh, poly bag and get to see this amazing new finish for the first time. What we've got is a magnetic grill, and the grill itself is protected in transit to ensure it does not scratch anything with another piece of, of foam paper. The grill is magnetic, and there are rubber sort of protective stoppers uh, to ensure that the magnets cannot uh, rub against the uh, finish of the front of the speaker. The grill itself has a hex design along the edges, allowing for a curve, and then a traditionally acoustically transparent central, central area to ensure the grill itself has little influence over the sounds that you will hear. The Q Acoustics logo, and as you'll see, that emulates with the one embossed on the front of the speaker. The speaker itself has two 5-inch mid-bass drivers running in parallel. Um, they're about 125 millimeters and a 1-inch soft dome tweeter. The frequency response gets all the way down below 40 Hz and all the way above 30 kilohertz. The speakers are about uh, 6 ohms as far as their impedance and relatively efficient in the grand scheme of things. As far as power handling, uh, look it will handle you know 25 to 150 watts, something in that broad range. And the speakers themselves, and this is what this video will never allude to, are brilliantly well made. They've got a really heavy cabinet. They're about 18 kilos each, which is a significant implication of what work they've done to ensure the cabinets are absolutely perfect. On that note, they're using new point-to-point -point bracing elements and using computer-aided design, looking at how those bracing elements influence air management, pressure and other things inside the cabinet. It is a design in R&D straight out of their Concept 500s, where they're utilising bracing elements and other things to ensure that they're managing airflow and not just cabinet resonance. So it's awesome, absolutely awesome to see. Now the fit and finish of this is stunning, and I'm loving this new design. The light oak is going to be brilliant as far as being able to fit in most living spaces, and there are some alternative colours should this particular wood grain not really uh, suit. There's a new two-tone design where you've got a gloss or almost mirror finish, and then a matte finish uh, as we look to covering the uh, drive units and the surrounds with them. There's a lovely uh, continuous curve um, design with the main base drivers. And these have meant a significant amount of effort has been made in R&D to bond properly the voice coil to the back of the drive unit itself. Again, centrally located tweeter, about, a, about one inch, along with some uh, logoing and embossing around it. And then a second driver at the top. The fit and finish is stunning. And again, I'm going to try and take some close-up photographs so you realise that there's no tooling edges, there's nothing that reveals anything other than an absolutely perfect design. There's the classic curves, and this adds another element to the speaker. Very, very elegant and slim, and curved fronts, uh, sorry, tops, to ensure that they're managing also the reflection and other things associated with the speaker design. The back emulates the same wood grain, top to bottom, and it's the big port that again can be managed with the port wad. This port and the air flow again has been managed brilliantly in its design and surprising as far as in a speaker of this price point. Now the whole 5000 range now features a new 
recessed binding post, or at least one that's almost recessed. It's certainly ultra thin. The five-way binding post has a lovely fit and finish from a quality perspective, and it's very straightforward as far as the screen printing and logo to identify positive and negative. But it means that the speakers, if you're using um, bare wire, can be fitted really close up to a wall if required. And it makes fitting a banana plug or something like that also very, very easy. And that attention to detail and design is one of the, one of the many small little things that Q-Acoustics has done to improve them. Again, these speakers, the fit and finish is absolutely lovely. The bracing is absolutely awesome. It's part of a whole new range that Q-Acoustics will perhaps expand upon. So, there we have it. Q-Acoustics new 5000 series floor standing speaker. The Q5040, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.